the socio-economic transformation of Palembang in 19,000 until 19,030. Authored by Diki Tri Apriyan Saputra, student of History Department, Indonesia University, and Linda Sunarti, lecturer of History Department, Indonesia University. Introduction. Palembang is one of the busy trading port cities in the Sumatra Island. Since Palembang was still in the period of the Sriwijaya Empire, this area has become an important part of the Trans-Asian Global Trade Network in the Malacca Strait. Palembang is located in south of Sumatra Island. The area which is landscape is divided into two types, namely the east, dominated by lowlands, swamps, and many rivers, while the west is dominated by highlands and hills. From its fertile land, it produces many important commodities that are sold in world markets such as coffee, tea, rubber, pepper, oil, gas, coal, and many more. Supported by many rivers that stretch throughout the Palembang area, as with water transportation traffic, making Palembang one of the strategic international trading cities in the Malacca Strait area. Entire 20th century, Palembang was complete controlled by the Dutch East Indies Colonial under the name Palembang Residency. At the beginning of this century, There was a major socio-economic transformation that made Palembang a modern industrial city. This process takes place throughout the year 1900 to 1930. This research will discuss the process of impact of Palembang socio-economic transformation in 19,000 until 1930. Research problem and method. This article discusses the socio-economic transformation of Palembang between 19,000 until 19,030. The research question is what is the big growth of the socio-economic transformation process in Palembang from 19,000 until 19,030? How the socio-economic transformation takes place in Palembang? And what is the impact of the socio-economic transformation for Palembang? This study aims to explain how the process and impact of the socio-economic transformation that occurred in Palembang during the year 19,000 until 19,030. The method used in historical with four states, namely heuristic, source verification, interpretation, and historiography. Analysis During the year 1900 until 1930, Palembang developed rapidly and became the wing western or profit area for the Dutch colonial government. Since the end of the 19th century, Palembang has become an area of economic exploitation of European capitalist group troops, large plantation and mining projects in the hinterland area of Palembang. Coffee and rubbers are Palembang's main export products. Therefore, many people are involved in this plantation business because it brings very high look in its time. At least at this time, many private companies have been established, most of which are owned by European. Famous European private companies in Palembang, such as Hannes Beroningi Amsterdam, Culture Massapi Indragiri, Stretch and Sunda Syndicate, etc. However, there are also companies owned by Chinese, Arabs, and local Palembang peoples. The process of socio-economic transformation in Palembang. Locals call this period the Ujan Mas, or Golden Rain period. At this time, there was an economic surplus of plantation communities which made the Palembang area a profitable area for all business there. The colonial government and local people made half profits from the sale of rubber and coffee commodities which were popular in the international market. The rapid export import trade involves many elements of the Palembang community so that it, it indirectly affects the socio-economic condition there. The socio-economic transformation that took place from 19,000 until 19,030 
brought local people closer to international trade activities and modern economic institutions such as banks. Local people are getting used to using bank service as a place to find trade information, debts, auction, money, and so on. There are several banks that have started to open brands in the residence area of Palembang, such as the Netherlands in this Handels Bank, the Japas Bank, etc. The process of social economic transformation in Palembang has succeeded in changing the image of the city of Palembang from the previous. The massive modernization in all sector in this city is nothing but part of the social economic transformation process that lasts for approximately three decades in the early 20th century. Community shapes increased production and export value, smallholder plantation, exploitation of mining products, establishment of modern institution, and so on, become an important part in the process of socio-economic transformation in the residency of Palembang. Impact of Palembang socio-economic transformation The impact built by the community as a result of the socio-economic transformation are as follows. Population increase Palembang has developed rapidly into a profitable area that brings good prospect for all brands of Palembang economy. There has been an increase in the population in the Palembang residency by several ethnic such as Europeans, Chinese, Arabs, Indians, and the Bumi Putra. Lifestyle change. Since the Dutch colonial rule over Palembang, the law regarding the ownership of large and luxurious house used by the Palembang Sultanate government was abolished. Everyone is allowed to build a large and luxurious house according to their respective abilities. Increasing Hajj Pilgrims The increase in the number of Palima Muslim who performed the pilgrim to the Holy Land of Mecca has increased very steadily. Most of these pilgrims come from groups of copy and rubber farmers who benefit from their plantation. The emergence of new social groups on organization. In a vulnerable women group, engaged in the social economic files began to be established in Palembang as a form of Palembang's openness to the outside world. Physical development of the residency capital of Palembang. The city of Palembang, which is geographically becoming more sophisticated by creating the roads, railways, buildings, and etc. Conclusion The beginning of the 20th century was a time when Palembang got abundant economic benefits. The Ujan mass incidents that hit this area brought great benefits to the community economics. Of course, this even cannot be separate from the success of the socio-economic transformation process in Palembang, which has been running for approximately three decades. This transformation has success in making many improvements in the people of Palembang. Especially in the social and economic files, therefore this research is important to see the socio-economic transformation process in Palembang so that it be, can be a source of learning for the wider community and a reference for the Palembang government for future city development.